Can you hear me now, Scott? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. How are you this evening? Good, man. This is uh, Scott from the Not So Morning Show. How are you? Oh, I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> Did you just hear me a minute ago saying I couldn't remember your name? Yeah, that's okay, though. I so suck. <laughs> Let me get that up on the board here. <laughs> So how you doing, man? I'm good, man. I just wanted to check out your show. So I was uh, just watching a an interview with Eva Fry and Mike Cernovich. And so I saw, as I was going back through YouTube, I was like, oh, you're just about to start. So I tuned in and here I am. <laughs> That's awesome. Now you uh, you said you were in Detroit, so we're, we are on the same time, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Cool. A, it's a 10 o'clock-ish time frame. Yeah. Time, you know? Yeah. Uh, of course, you know, that for me, that's that's every night. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, well, it's good to have you on the show, man. I really enjoy your guys' show. You guys got a great chemistry going on there and uh, no shortage of uh, of topics, I see. Yeah. <laughs> we have fun, but I was uh, I was really enjoying what you were talking about, too, because I am uh, I think we kind of have a lot of the same views on this thing, um, mostly because I think that, just like you were saying, the media – here in the United States, especially, I don't know if people are watching in other parts of the country, of the world, but here in the United States, our media is just terrible. They're, they just do not really cover things. They're not real journalists anymore. Um, they have agendas, and I feel like this Epstein thing is another example of how sad our, our journalistic integrity has become. You're absolutely right, and and I don't know I don't know how this came to be exactly because uh, well I know how to, how it came to be in the last you know what three years but sure <laughs> uh, I'm telling yeah. you say what you will or, or whatever side of the fence you're on you've got to admit that uh, Trump derangement syndrome is real and it affects a lot <laughs> it's uh, really real like, yeah really really real yep. yeah I don't I don't take a political stance uh, even though most most of my viewers know that uh, that I lean on the conservative side. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's part of the latest, but you know, this has been going on for a while and, uh, yeah, it it's concerning. It, it just, it... <sighs> I think that, I think the difference is, um, based on the people who have been, and some people, again, they may not understand this if they're not from the United States, but there's things that have happened in this country based on who the president is. And I think that, um, over a long period of time, most of the presidents that we've seen up until this time have been very, um, entrenched in the things that happen in Washington, D.C., and they don't want to upset the apple cart, so to speak. And so they kind of play by the Washington rules. And all of a sudden there's this guy who was a TV show personality and a, a billionaire who lost money and got money. And then, you know, he decided he was going to become president. So it just shook everything for So these people don't know what to do except for to get rid of them. That's true. And, and they're partly the responsible for uh, having him in there, honestly. You know, oh, when, for sure. yeah, you get so tied up with the, um, uh, with, with the status quo, then something fresh comes along and, and those people who are really tired of the status quo yeah, <laughs> will yeah. jump on board. I can remember when Ross Perot ran, ran. I, I think you're uh, just a bit younger than I am. No, but I remember that I voted in that election. Yep. I did too. And, and, uh, I, I must say that I, I voted for Ross and the reason I did was because we were in such financial uh, disarray at that time, even at that time, that yeah. I I you, thought get a businessman in there. Can you can you even like back then we couldn't even fathom the debt that we're in now. Oh, I know, not, not at all. I know, so. unbelievable, unbelievable. So um, thanks, man. I I appreciate being on the show. I, I I I'm glad I tuned in and caught this. I'm I'm excited to hear what you have to say. Well, I'm glad to have you, man. Uh, I want I want to talk a bit about your show. Um, how yeah. Long, how long have you guys been on? Well, Danny and I knew each other. Danny is uh, lives in Australia now, but Danny used to live in Michigan, and I used to work at this church where Danny's father was at the church as well as a, as a pastor there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I knew Danny when he was in high school, and he was kind of a jerk. Uh, and I'm just kidding. No, he was a, he was, <laughs> I can't even you know, imagine he that. He was a teenager, right? And, uh, yeah. So then all these years later, I just so happened to be doing some stuff on YouTube with some guys that I met through YouTube, which is very weird. Um, and we started a podcast called, Hey, we're talking. And so we did this show called, Hey, we're talking for a long time. And then, uh, I had Danny on the show a couple of times because I saw him making these videos. Uh, he, he works on, uh, cruise ships. 
And so he would make these videos and I was like, oh my gosh, I know him. And so I just, I hit him up through YouTube and said, or Facebook or something. And I was just like, hey, would you be on my show? And he said, yeah. And uh, that's kind of how the relationship started up again, uh, all, like 20 years later. And now he lives in Australia. I live in Michigan again. And we're back at it. So we just started doing this probably like, a, I think Danny might be able to tell you at some point, but I think it was like a month, maybe less than a month now that we've been doing this. So. Oh, is that all? Oh, yeah. I, I thought it'd been longer than that. Yeah. That's nope, awesome. No, nope. I'll leave. I'll leave the questions to uh, why he's in Australia now uh, for Danny when he comes on. But <laughs> sure. Uh, so what? What do you? Uh, and, and this is more for the uh, the audience. So what do you guys cover for the most part during your show? You know, it's we kind of just had this idea of doing something that was similar to like a morning show, just like you know, not totally zany, but just having fun and kind of talking with about stuff that's going on. Um, it can maybe get serious, but not too often. Danny has a little thing that he plays if I decide to get political because I'm one of those people that's into politics. So he uh, will play something to make fun of me when I get into the politics and stuff like that. But um, generally speaking, I think it's just something fun for people to listen to maybe on their ride to work or uh, on another time where they just need something to kind of laugh at and have fun. And that's basically what it is. Well, I uh, I will I will vouch for that. It is it is a fun show. You guys got to check it out. Uh, let them know when it's on, Scott. Uh, so in the United States, it'll be on depending on where you are, but Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time, which I, is that what we are now? Are we EDT now? I, I always forget. I, mess up. I do too. I mean, I, I know we we <laughs> fell back, but what? <laughs> I just now I just say 10 p.m. Eastern. They just have to follow me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So. So in the United States right now, usually, here's the thing, Danny's a musician, so the time, you never know when it's really going to start, because he's in control and he's a musician, so mm. he just kind of starts when he's going to start. He's uh -huh. going to beat me up so bad when he gets on here, by the way, because I'm trashy, but I'm just moving oh, around. No, 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 you'll get nothing from love uh, here because I'm a musician as well, although I am on time, <laughs> but See? I know a lot of musicians, <laughs> they well, are not. In, in Danny's defense, he's starting at 7 a.m. in Australia, and it's... For me, it's 4 p.m. Um, so we're usually get it going by about 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, Danny's trying to push me to do a nighttime show for him, a, a nighttime show, which would be like 5 in the morning for me. And I'm kind of saying, no, that doesn't sound good. But, <laughs> but if you're in the United States, just tune in on YouTube. Uh, it'll It's actually Sunday through Thursday because we're going on his Monday through Friday uh, at uh, 4 4.30, sometime in there, 4 to 4.30 Okay, PM. cool, cool. Well, when you, uh, when you jump off, uh, go ahead and uh, type in the chat and people, if they'd like to uh, visit the channel and, and check you out and uh, subscribe, which which um, the the daylight savings time, folks, it's a great idea to hit that bell. Even if YouTube is somewhat inconsistent, at least yeah. they'll they'll try to make up for uh, between standard and daylight. <laughs> yeah, and, and listen, I know Donald Trump is probably listening right now. If you were to run on the ticket and say that you were going to get rid of daylight savings time, I think you'd win in a landslide. Oh man, don't you know it? Don't you know it? We I just had a show on that, as a matter of fact, and and no one could give me a good reason of why they they still have it outside of you know, kids have they like during their you know first school bus uh, visit. Yeah. Well, it's kind of outdated. I feel like it's outdated. And he actually talked about it before, saying maybe I should do that. And I was like, yes, please do it. Please do. Please do. It would be nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Scott, thanks so much for coming on, man, and giving your opinion on yeah, that. No problem. And telling us about your show. I, like I said, I love it. I try to catch it every time I can. For me, you know how it is. Uh, 4 p.m. is kind of an odd time for, for me to get yeah, to. But uh, but I try to catch it every time, man. If uh, if not, I'm watching the uh, re, the re, uh, rehash. So. Yeah. Good, good Thank work, you so man. Much, man. You bet. Uh, thanks again, Scott. Talk to you soon. Take care. Try to find my way here. <laughs>